Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and I'm working on a new project. As you know, I overwintered peppers last year. They were regular, um, like, Anaheim peppers, and they did very well, produced like crazy over the summer. And I happened to be at Kroger and saw these incredible ornamental pepper plants, which I know to be edible. So this kind of pepper and this kind of pepper, and I think there's actually other kinds. I bought like four of them. <laughs> uh, so typical me. So anyway, this is what I have to cut them down to in order to have them survive inside the house. So as you can tell, they were $12.99. And even though it says annual, if I keep them in the basement and keep them happy over the winter, they will come back and they will look like this again, which I think is totally awesome. The peppers are pretty spicy, more spicy than a jalapeno. Um, both both the pointy ones and the round ones are pretty spicy. Um, but I think they look really, really, really pretty. They kind of start out this yellow color, then they kind of get this blush on them, and then by the time they are done, they are this beautiful purpley color. Um, and as you can tell, the pointy ones, they start out green, they go to a yellow, and then finally, if I can find one, nope, okay, there are some of them that are red, red. So, another project <clears throat> for my worms to take care of for me this winter. All right, guys, well, I just thought I would add this as a extension to my winter overwintering peppers um, line of videos, and I hope everybody is surviving this little cold snap we're having in the Midwest. I've got a couple inches of snow on the ground, so this is a project that makes me feel a little less like running to Florida like an old person. Uh, apologies to anybody who's in or from Florida. Anywho, thanks for hanging out with me and my plants, and everybody have a good night.